Okay, let's go to Ecuador. Vamanos! As you can see in this video, in Ecuador, the toilet flushes in the counterclockwise direction. Why counterclockwise? Now that I have your attention, let's find out. Let's go to the middle of the world located in Ecuador and try to observe things that might have something Filipino in them. Ecuador took its name from the Spanish word for equator. As you can see from this map, Ecuador is situated 17,000 kilometers from the Philippines or 19 hours by plane. Despite the distance, you might be surprised to know that there are many similarities between Ecuador and the Philippines and what lessons we might learn from them. Vamonos. Sama na kayo. Numero uno on our list is Hornado, the Philippines equivalent of lechon. Hornado is an Ecuadorian whole roasted pig dish served with potatoes, vegetables, and a salad of red onion and tomato. Hornado is a popular dish in Ecuador. You will come across many Hornado stands throughout Ecuador. Numero dos on our list. That has something Filipino in it. The concentration of volcanoes in Ecuador. This map shows the Ecuadorian section of the Pan American Highway, which is called the Avenue of the Volcanoes. Ecuador, like the Philippines, is located along the Pacific Ring of Fire, where many volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur. Ecuador is jam packed with volcanoes, with 47 in total. Quito, the capital of Ecuador, is surrounded with many volcanoes. Imbaburo volcano is located in Otavalo. A view of the Imbaburo volcano on the way to Otavalo market. Ecuador will develop a 50 megawatt geothermal power plant in Imbabura. Like Ecuador, being situated on the Ring of Fire, the Philippines took advantage of the abundant heat source underneath the volcanoes and began the geothermal production in the 1970s. Now, on to the next volcano. Tungurawa, one of Ecuador's most active volcanoes. At the base of the volcano is the city of Banyas. The strong explosions of Tungurawa volcano in 1995 caused the temporary evacuation of the city of Banyas. Banyas is known for its mineral-rich hot springs and the gateway to the Amazon basin. Next, numero trace on our list is biodiversity. Both Ecuador and the Philippines are recognized by the United Nations as the most biodiversity-rich countries of the world. Ecuador's Amazon rainforest is protected. Ecotourism is promoted and is a big contributor to the socio-economic well-being of the country. This is kapok tree which is native to the Amazon rainforest and probably the tallest of all Amazonian trees. 
measuring at 150 feet or more. At the University of the Philippines Los Banos, the kapok tree seasonally disperses its seed fibers or silk cottons, creating a snow-like condition on campus. Now, here's what can be learned. Like in Ecuador, the Philippines' biodiversity provides food, water, energy sources, and ecotourism value. But studies have shown the Philippines is also one of the world's hotspots for endangered and threatened species. Next, numero cuatro on our list goes to Ecuador's bananas. Ecuador is one of the world's top banana producers. Bananas are Ecuador's second most important export commodity, following only crude oil. According to a 2018 survey, Ecuador is ranked fifth worldwide, with an annual production of 6.5 million tons, while the Philippines closely follows at sixth with 6.1 million tons. Most bananas exported are grown in tropical countries. Within 30 degrees on either side of the equator, bananas need rich, dark and fertile soils, with steady moisture in the air and ground and good drainage. Across the Pacific Ocean in the Philippines, most of the banana growing areas are located in Mindanao, in a recent report, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization projected the Philippine banana production would continue to expand as the second leading supplier of bananas globally behind Ecuador. Next, Numero Cinco are the free roaming street dogs of Ecuador. There were too many dogs out on the street in Ecuador. You see them everywhere in the city and in small villages significantly more than what I've seen in the streets of Manila. The current population of free roaming and owned dogs is not known. But in the city of Guayaquil, the largest city of Ecuador, the estimated human to dog ratio is 7 to 1, based on a University of Florida study. The good news is NGO organizations like Protección Animal Ecuador has been working to provide street dogs with shelter, food, vaccines, neutering and medical attention.